Apollon is an unusually attractive creature, as if descended from the pages of a fairy tale book. Such charms can captivate anyone, it is not for nothing that at one time they were the favorites of many royalty. Small fur lumps with funny ears and lively shiny eyes simply adore attention and affection, in which they are ready to swim around the clock. Apollons are restless and energetic, they are ready to accompany their master in any adventure. We will learn more about the origin of these babies by examining their character, habits, preferred menu and features of the content. The history of the origin of the Papillons. The birthplace of the Papillons is France. The name of these dogs is translated as butterfly, all because of the unusual and very attractive dog ears, which resemble the outlines of the wings of a butterfly. These dogs are also called continental toy spaniels, which were extremely popular back in the 15th century, the entire Belgian and French elite tried to acquire such a magnificent four-legged fluffy. Interesting fact, in the 16th-17th centuries, the Papillons were the so-called secular lions and lionesses who accompanied the high-ranking elite at various receptions and took an active part in all kinds of receptions and companies of those years. Even the French King Henry III had an extraordinary love for this dog breed. Papillons can often be seen in group portraits of that time, they successfully posed for eminent artists. Leading a rich social life, butterfly dogs fluttered at balls in various receptions. Surprisingly, some favorites became the owners of entire majestic castles. Towards the end of the 19th century, Papillons were brought to America, and in the 20s of the 20th century, interest in these dogs increased among the British. European breeders wanted to make the Papillons even more attractive and irresistible, so they began to experiment, crossing them with Pomeranians, which is why the Papillons became the owners of a magnificent fur coat. In addition, as a result of this selection process, the tip of the dog's tail changed its position, moving to the upper dorsal line. Papillons were recognized by the English Kennel Club as an independent breed in 1923. And 12 years later they were recognized by the American Cocker Spaniel Club. Papillon. Breed Description. American breeders classify these dogs as papillons and phalons, moths. Phalanov is distinguished by the structure of the ears, they are hanging. Europeans do not consider moth dogs to be relatives of papillons, referring them to another breed. The papillon closely resembles a spitz or long-haired chihuahua, although there is no relationship between these dogs. Papillons are quite miniature, their weight varies from 2.5 to 5 kilograms, although dogs weighing less than 2.5 kilograms, about that, are often found. The standard provides for the height of dogs at the withers, which does not go beyond 27-28 centimeters. Interesting fact, the papillons feature is their smile. The presence of a slightly open mouth with a pink tongue in tandem with a brilliant lively gaze makes the four-legged incredible adorable, similar to plush toys. Papillons have a head proportional to the entire dog's body. Their cranium cannot be called too round, it is longer than the muzzle in length. In smaller representatives of the breed, the feet are clearly expressed, in those that are larger, they are smoothed. A dog's nose is small, black in color and rounded, with a slight flattening on top. The nose itself has a flat back. Papillons are the owners of strong, tightly spaced teeth that hide the tongue. If the tongue folds out strongly beyond the area of the teeth, then this is considered a marriage. Dog's eyes are large enough, almond-shaped, do not differ in a strong bulge. The iris is dark in color. Naturally, the hallmark of the papillons is their butterfly ears, which have thin but strong cartilage that can keep the ears open. The tips on the ears are not sharp. Dog ears are set high and are raised when the dog is calm. The outer ear part is covered with long fur, like a fringe, behind which the ear edge is hidden. On the inner side of the ears, there is a thin curly hairline, often protruding beyond the edges of the auricle. Papillons have a medium-sized neck, the nape of which is slightly arched. The dorsal part of the dog is quite even without obvious humps and depressions. The loin is protruding, the rib cage is wide and has well-arched ribs. The abdomen and groin area are tucked up. Papillons are distinguished by straight and graceful legs, which are of medium length. The pads on the feet are hard, equipped with strong toes with black claws. For dogs whose legs are white, milky white nails are considered acceptable. Often, protruding fur is visible between the fingers. The tail of the papillons is set high, has a luxurious suspension that falls 15 centimeters downward. When the dog is moving, the tail is along the upper dorsal part and can touch it with its tip. If the papillon is purebred, then its tail in the shape of a donut will not curl and it does not lie completely on its back. The nature and habits of the papillons. Papillons are good-natured and sympathetic creatures. It seems that a bad mood is not at all peculiar to them. Dogs seem to walk in pink glasses, being tireless optimists. They find positive nuances in any situation. 
These four-legged pets are very curious, they can be considered true explorers, because every invisible little thing on a walk can cause an unprecedented dog's interest. The soul of Papillons is fragile and vulnerable, so they can fall into a depressive state from rough treatment and pressure from the owner. Capriciousness is not inherent in the Papillons. They easily adapt to living in small apartments and large country houses. Dogs are very loyal with children. Dogs do not perceive strangers as enemies, and because of some nonsense they will not make noise, of course, only well-bred dogs do this. If the butterfly dog is left at home all alone, then, naturally, it will miss the family members, but it will never arrange a route in the apartment, so there is no need to fear for damage to property. Interesting fact, Papillons get along well with other pets, for example, the same breed of cats. Experts even recommend getting your dog a friend to ward off boredom when the owner is absent. It should be added that the Papillons are treated with suspicion and distrust of large animals, so it is better not to keep a butterfly dog and, for example, a German Shepherd together. There is no need to injure the delicate and sensitive psyche of daddies, as Papillons are often called. In general, Papillons are very gentle and, it would seem, do not know at all about such a concept as aggressiveness. Despite all this, they are ready to protect their family, differing in courage and determination. These kids are ready for a lot, for the sake of their beloved owner and other equally adored household members. Surprisingly, if you anger or offend a Papillon, then he can get angry and bite his ill-wisher, so these miniature dogs need training and early socialization. Papillons are pretty mischievous people with a cheerful and playful disposition, always ready to play with the owner, taking up active rest. Good nature, affection and cheerfulness, these are the features inherent in this breed, they give the dogs incredible charm, making them the favorites of others. Interesting facts about Papillons. Studying and analyzing interesting facts about Papillons, you can learn a lot of fascinating things about the features of this cute breed. This will be especially useful for those who are considering adopting such a fluffy pet. Let's try to list the most unusual information about these dogs, surprisingly, the Papillons are related to the Spaniel breed, this is due to the fact that butterfly dogs descended from dwarf hunting tetrapods, widespread in France and Italy. It is not for nothing that they are officially called continental toy spaniels. Rough Papillons, although small, can show aggression. Papillons are among the 10 smartest dogs in the world, ranking 8th on the Stanley Corrin scale. It is believed that these dogs have a human character, they are characterized by the presence of resentment, jealousy, joy and even smiling, all of these emotions are immediately visible on the Papillon's dog face. It is known from history that the Papillons were favored by celebrities and royalty. They were pets of the Marquise de Pompadour, Marie Antoinette, Louis XIV. Henry III spent a whole third of the state treasury on caring for the dogs and acquiring these four-legged ones. It is interesting that all Papillons have hanging ears at birth and they stand up in the period from two to four months of age. Papillons like cats, so they may well become true friends with them. Papillons are miniature owners of a power-hungry disposition, they will be happy to crush any member of their family who has shown weakness towards them. Thus, dogs love to be manipulated. In the 17th century, artists often depicted Papillons in group portraits. Papillon Care in order for a butterfly dog to feel comfortable in a new home, you need to buy all the belongings necessary for its maintenance, which includes a bed with removable mattresses, a pair of metal or ceramic bowls, a comb for putting the fur coat in order, toys, it is better that they are latex dot to walk your animal, you need to get a leather collar, leash, and tape measure. The harness is not advised to use, it can lead to a version of the bones. It is better to equip a dog's place away from the battery, where there are no drafts and there is an excellent view of the space, so that it would be interesting for the daddy to observe the household. You need to walk the dogs twice a day, at least for 30 minutes, but as long as possible, they obviously will not mind. As already mentioned, Papillons do not have an undercoat, so their molting is not as terrible as many think, only during this period you need to comb your pet daily. The rest of the time, this can be done twice per week. It is worth noting that the wool is combed with a moist, clean one, if this is done with dry hair, they will become very brittle. Often papillons are trimmed in certain places, this can be the body itself, the hair between the toes on the paws, the inguinal and anal zones. Show class dogs should not be cut by themselves, it is better to take them to specialists. Bathing papillons should be done as the dog gets dirty. It is better to dry the coat with a hair dryer, then the hairs will be straight, otherwise they will curl, and it will be difficult to comb them. If there is no time for regular bathing procedures, then you can purchase a special overalls for walking for the dog to protect the coat from dust and other contaminants. An interesting fact, Papillons themselves are very neat and will not get dirty for no reason, they, most often, after walking, only need to wash their paws. 
Dogs should trim their claws, it is recommended to do this immediately after water procedures, when they, the claws, have steamed and become soft. Sometimes the need for such a procedure disappears, if they often walk with the papillon for a long time, then the claws themselves grind off. Dogs are advised to brush their teeth with a brush and a specialized animal paste. It is good to give pussies dog chips to prevent tartar formation. You also need to take care of the ears and dog eyes. The former are wiped with a napkin dipped in an antiseptic solution, gel, and the latter with chamomile infusion. Papillon. Price and how to buy correctly. If you decide to acquire a charming papillon, we recommend choosing a puppy only on the territory of a proven kennel, whose specialists can provide all the accompanying documentation and tell about the pedigree. Do not be too lazy to look into the veterinary passport, see the vaccinations already made to the baby. Be sure to test the puppy's hearing by doing it with a loud clap right above the dog's head, a well-hearing puppy will immediately respond to such clap. It is also important to evaluate the appearance of the puppies. They should be well-groomed, clean, cheerful, cheerful and perky. Papillons are very inquisitive and restless, so if the puppy is sad and passive, this should alert. The baby should have a brand in the groin or ear area, indicating that he is purebred. If the puppy's tummy is very swollen, then this may be a signal of stomach problems or the presence of worms. It is better to refuse such a pet right away. Often, papillons are very difficult to check for compliance with the standard because puppies develop unevenly. Only an experienced specialist can help to figure it out, who will determine the real dog cost, because the price of butterfly dogs can bite. If the papillon is purebred, has an excellent pedigree, its cost can fluctuate in the range from 500 to 800 US dollars. A puppy whose parents are titled champions can cost 1000 US dollars. Papillons without documents, having minor deviations from the standard, but with good health, can cost from 200 to 400 US dollars.